There is the most annoyingest fly in this room. I'm literally trying to kill with my bearing ends right now. Come on, motherfucker. one way to introduce this YouTube video. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. I shamelessly went thrifting again today. I feel like I found some good things and I'm just going to quickly show you guys them really fast. So the first thing on my list that I'm very excited about is this cute frame. It was only like four dollars and I'm thinking about hanging it in my office possibly but isn't it so cute? This to put in my office and put like pens and pencils in there. I thought it was so cute. It's actually like glass to put like water in obviously but I thought it was cute for that and then I got this little jar to put in my office as well Cosmo and Wanda ant slick this basket to put in my kitchen I'm gonna put like fruits and vegetables in there it was a perfect little basket for that and then onto the clothes green dress with little pockets in the front and I thought it was adorable and then I got this pullover it was super comfortable really excited to wear this I got this tank top with little stripes and it has like a little cross thing right here, like a little crossover. Sweats to wear just around the house, not in the belt. And it has elastic waist, which is really nice. I like sweats that hug my waist, show off that booty, you know what I'm talking about. And then got this cute little, I need to stop saying cute, okay? We need to come up with new words here. I got this very adorable summer dress. It looks a lot better on. It's like a bodycon dress. And yeah, that was my speed thrift haul. whenever I say that that was the best fireworks show I've ever seen. There were so many new fireworks that I've never seen in my lifetime. Maybe I was just not going to the right fireworks shows. They didn't go all out or something because this was just insane. It started off on a bad note because I was in line to get food right whenever I was almost to get to the front. I was like about to get to the front and they sold out of food. And so there were only two food trucks because I guess the third one didn't show up. So I got in the other line, which took an hour for me to get to the front and like right whenever I was in the same spot that I was in the one that sold out they said two minutes until we're sold out and I was like if you guys sell out before I get up there I'm I'm gonna be start I'm gonna like start digging in the trash cans because there's there's no way that I am not gonna get any food in my stomach for the night but thankfully I got to the front and got my food and everything was fine but I was really worried there that I was gonna have to take a long walk Anyways, it was just so much fun. I actually wanted to show you guys a book that I've been reading. It's called Bittersweet by Susan Cain. It is phenomenal. Like, I've read some self-help books like in the past and it was basically like, just trust God and drink your water. And I just, I can't really get into that, those kind of self-help books, but this one is like scientific and intelligent, states facts as to how your sadness in your life is showing compassion. and it, kind of gives you a new perspective about your sadness. So like whenever you're sad, you have to remind yourself like, it's because I care profoundly in this aspect of my life. And so I found that very inspiring. Conversely, the more gentle we speak to ourselves, the more we'll do for the same for others. So the next time you hear that harsh internal voice, pause, take a breath and try again. Speak to yourself the same with the same tenderness you'd extend to a beloved child. 
literally using the same terms of endearment, the amount of reassurance that you'd shower on an adorable three-year-old. If this strikes you as hopelessly self-indulgent, remember that you're not babying yourself or letting yourself off the hook. You're taking care of yourself so that yourself can go forth and take care of others. I don't know, I just find that so beautiful because I just always talk to myself in such a harsh, harsh voice. I always just am beating myself up. I've always been like this and I think all like creative artistic people or just people that um, are perfectionists struggle with this and I didn't really know how to stop talking to myself that way. I'm just so mean to myself and it's so funny because I would never treat anybody else the way that I treat myself. I literally like go to bed at night thinking, I am so stupid. Like, I am the stupidest. I know, I know stupidest is not a word, but I'm gonna say it. I am the most stupidest person alive. Why am I here? And I just always had those thoughts. Or like, why am I doing certain things? Like, if I'll post a YouTube video, I'm just sitting there like, do people even like this? But then I have to remind myself like, I like this and that's why I'm doing it. And ugh, I just could talk about this forever. And it's just, it just needs to stop. You know, like, it just, we just need to stop doing this to ourselves, and so I'm trying to work on that, and I also have been um, going places that I have bad experiences in. So, like, for instance, there's certain places in my life that I just left on a bad note, like, there's so much bad energy there, I just didn't really know how to fix it. So I just started going there and creating new memories.